I'm standing in Lupton Stadium, home of the Texas Christian University Horned Frogs baseball team, who only this year reached their sixth College World Series. Could be the ball game. TCU is headed back to Omaha. Upon hearing of their journey, I was struck with many questions. What is a Horned Frog? Why is it called the World Series when the vast majority of the world does not participate? And what happened to my left shoe? These were all questions I was unprepared to answer, as I did not have sufficient interest in them. That left just one nagging question in my mind. What makes one good at baseball? I knew in order to answer this question, I had to go right to the source. However, for some reason, they weren't home. Conspiracy theorists believe it takes years of focused training and hard work to hone baseball skills. However, there is simply no evidence to bear this out. For the Horned Frogs and head coach Kirkland Sarloose, it came down to one thing. I mean, we had IHOP for breakfast this morning, so that was something big that, you know, let's probably do that again. The International House of Pancakes, an overly long name that no one uses. It would seem this veritable holy grail of bacon, eggs, and maple syrup soaked carbohydrates is the true secret to baseball success. TCU players ate IHOP before seven of their postseason contests. They won all but one. One particular pancake-fueled conquest saw TCU second baseman Trey Richardson hit two grand slams and a home run against the Arkansas Razorbacks, which I'm told is very good and hard to do. I was determined to learn for myself just what it was about IHOP that made TCU players good at baseball. So I sat down with regional manager Andrew Hooker to learn what it is that IHOP does to help athletes. What does IHOP put in its pancakes? It's a great question. Obviously it's a secret recipe, so I can't share that with you, but um, we make it with love and we serve it with a smile. Sometimes my preps will, you know, hug the dry mix bag, make sure it's all nice and ready. What is it about IHOP and baseball? How does IHOP help baseball players perform their best? Everyone needs a nice, good uh, breakfast or food meal in order to have the energy to do what they need. And here, you know, we have anything someone could want in that regard, right? The eggs, meat, potatoes. On the cereal commercials, right, that they used to have, it would say like Lucky Charms. It's a part of this complete breakfast. Mm. What makes a balanced breakfast and how many marshmallows or mallow-based confectionery is necessary to balance a breakfast? You can't forget the syrup. Mm. When I grew up, I actually had the tradition of eating at IHOP also. So I was a rower and after every race, my team would drop by with a bus and we'd all eat breakfast samplers. Growing up, we did, a, we did pretty well. Um, and I would say syrup was a big component of that. Denny's is a, a competitor of yours, yes? Correct. Yes, sir. Okay, so what do you make of Denny's Grand Slam? I mean, that feels a bit vicious false advertising, in, in, in my opinion, right? Because if, if IHOP is the food for baseball players, Denny's saying Grand Slam, what do you make of this? You know, uh, I actually have not been to a, uh, to a Denny's since I could remember, so I don't want to personally comment on the Grand Slam. Um, but I'm trying to start internet beef right now between <laughs> IHOP and Denny's. Can no, you help me do that? No beef to be had here. You know, we're all, um, at the end of the day, trying to serve our customers. We just have a slightly different approach than every other franchise, right? <laughs> Um, so, what do you eat for a typical breakfast? Sure. Um, I have two options, and it depends on how I'm feeling. I either go for the classic Eggs Benedict, if I'm feeling like an Eggs Benedict, um, or pretty much what I ate for 99% of my life, breakfast sampler. Mm. Scrambled eggs, three bacon, three sausage, and double blueberry pancakes. Been getting it since I was born, and I could almost never turn away from it. Mm. And funny enough, um, when the TCU baseball team got food from us, they ordered 55 breakfast samplers both mornings. Yesterday, I ate a granola bar I found under the car seat. Nice. That's going well for me. Yeah. Every experiment needs a control. I'm not sure what that means, but I hear it a lot. In any case, 
it was time for me to find out for myself if IHOP could have a similar impact on my athletic performance as it clearly did on the TCU baseball team. The results were inconclusive.